Welcome back to Passionate About Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you the newest, easiest way to install Windows 11 on old, unsupported PCs, even if they lack TPM 2.0 or a modern CPU. We'll grab the official ISO, tweak a bootable USB with Rufus to skip all the checks, and do a clean install that creates a local account without needing internet or a Microsoft login. Perfect for breathing new life into 10-year-old laptops or desktops that Windows 10 support just ended for. Ready? Let's jump in. Okay, step one. Download the official Windows 11 25 H2 ISO from Microsoft. Open your web browser. I love Chrome for this. In the address bar, type Windows 11 ISO in the search bar, then hit enter. The very first result should be the official Microsoft. Click that link, make sure it's from Microsoft.com, and you'll be taken straight to the official download page. Scroll down to the section called Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO for X64 Devices. Click the drop-down under Select Download, pick Windows 11, then click Confirm. Now choose your language, I'll go with English, United States, but pick what matches your region. Click Confirm again. Finally, click the 64-bit Download button. This file is about 7 to 8 gigabytes, so depending on your speed, grab a coffee, it might take 10 to 30 minutes. I'll link the direct download page in the description to skip any searching. Next, download Rufus, the free hero of this tutorial. In a new browser tab, type rufus.ie and hit enter. That's the official site, no shady downloads. Scroll to the download section, click download button for the portable version. No install needed, it's just a few megabytes. Double-click the Rufus file to launch it. If it asks to check for updates, click Yes. It grabs the latest in seconds. Now, insert your USB flash drive. Needs 8 GB minimum, 16 or more for faster speeds. Warning, this erases everything on it, so back up any files first. Mine's a 32 GB stick, plenty of room. In Rufus, under Device, make sure your USB is selected. Click Select next to Boot Selection. Browse to your Downloads folder, pick the Windows 11 ISO, click Open. Rufus reads it and autofills stuff like Image Option as Standard, Windows Installation. Now, let's confirm your PC's setup for the right tweaks. Press Windows key plus R to open Run. Type msinfo32, then press Enter. In System Information, scroll to BIOS mode on the right. If it says UEFI, leave Partition Scheme as GPT and Target System as UEFI non-CSM. If it's Legacy, click the drop-downs and change to MBR. This ensures it boots on your old hardware without issues. Mine's Legacy for this test, so MBR it is. Click Start at the bottom. Here's the real magic. Rufus opens a Windows User Experience window. Check Remove Requirement for 4GB plus RAM, Secure Boot, and TPM 2.0. Check Remove Requirement for an online Microsoft account. This skips the forced login during setup, huge for privacy. Under Create a local account with username, type a username like your name or user. Leave it blank if you want to pick during install. I'll type user. Check Set regional options to the same values as this user's. Check Disable data collection, skip privacy questions. Check Disable BitLocker automatic device encryption. These keep setup clean and fast. Click OK. Rufus warns it'll format the USB. Click OK to confirm. Now it copies files, applies tweaks, and verifies. This takes 5 to 15 minutes. Watch the green progress bar. Don't touch anything. Done! It says ready. Close Rufus and safely eject the USB. Two paths here. In-place upgrade to keep files, or clean install for a fresh start. I'll show clean, but mention upgrade. For in place, plug the USB into your old PC. Open File Explorer, go to the USB drive, double click setup.exe. It runs like a normal update, keeping apps and files. Skip if you want clean. For clean install, restart your PC and boot from USB. Spam the boot menu key as it starts. F12 for Dell, Escape, then F9 for HP, F11, F10, or F8 for most others. Not sure? Google your exact model plus boot menu key. In the menu, like screenshot, arrow to USB, 
Press Enter. Windows Setup Loads. Pick Language, Time, Keyboard, click Next. Pick Install Windows 11 if you want a fresh setup. This wipes everything clean. Check the box. I agree everything will be deleted, including files, apps, and settings. Click Next to keep going. No product key? Click I don't have one, activate later. Next up, the Select Image screen. Scroll and pick Windows 11 Pro. That's the one I'm selecting here. Accept license. You'll see drives and partitions. For clean, select each on your main drive, disk zero usually. Click delete. Don't touch the USB. Now you have unallocated space. Select it. Click next. Finally, click install. <laughs> Windows creates partitions automatically. Install copies files, restarts a few times, normal. After final reboot, out-of-box experience starts. No Wi-Fi prompt thanks to Rufus. Click I don't have internet. Boom. Local account screen. Type your username if you didn't preset. Add password if wanted. Security questions. Desktop loads, but sparse. No icons yet, because no net. Look at that! Running on unsupported hardware. Open settings. Windows Update, check for updates. It'll grab dozens. Security, drivers, the works. Install, restart as needed. Your old PC is now speedy, secure, and on the latest Windows 11. No performance hit, updates flow normally. Now, before we wrap up, let's talk about something that'll make your fresh install feel complete. Activating Windows 11 the right way. No watermark, full features, and zero headaches. Plus, I've got a discount code for you. Here's how to activate Windows 11 affordably and ditch that pesky watermark for good. First, open your browser and head to premiumcdkey.com. I'll drop the link below. In the search bar, type Windows 11 Professional Retail Key. You'll see legit, fully transferable retail keys at rock bottom prices, way cheaper than Microsoft Store. Add the key to your cart and at checkout, punch in my exclusive discount code. T-E-C-H-9, that's T-E-C-H-9, for an extra 10% off. Every penny counts, right? Pay securely with Visa, PayPal, or even crypto if you're into that. Within minutes, sometimes seconds, your key lands in your email or account dashboard. Now, back on your PC, go to Settings, System, Activation. Click Change Product Key, paste in your code, hit Next, and boom! Windows 11 is fully activated. So, if this revived your old rig, smash that like button and hit subscribe so you never miss a trick. Drop a comment below. What's your PC's age and model? Stay passionate, keep tinkering, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you soon.